Hi folks, this is Jamie from Randomised User, making a welcome return back to the sunny climes of this slow-paced farming game with crafting and various other things as well. Now, look, I'll level with you. Um, I know it's probably not supposed to be called My Time at Porsche. Um, that's the name of a car. But um, I'm going to stick with that because that's what I always pronounce it in the previous videos. We first played this back in July 2017 in alpha form, but now it's at 1.0 and we're ready to go with a new game. Many portions have their own stories. You will learn them once you befriend them. So I've been reading a lot of the reviews of the um, the 1.0 release and people do seem to say that they really enjoy it and get absorbed in it, but it is um, insanely slow paced so you've got to really get into the chill of it all. Um, let's just quickly whip up a character, almost certainly got the green hair. Basically my character from Saints Row 3, from the videos from about four years ago. Ah. Let's call him... Let's call him the Saint. Um, okay, what else can we do? Face type. Oh, it's Pob. We don't want Pob. Oh, that's even Pobbier. Ah. Oh, look. I don't know, I'm a bit concerned about him. Oh! <laughs> that doesn't suit him at all! Or that. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Choose your birthday. I want a fishy birthday. Let's have a let's have my birthday on fishing day. Oh. I've been told off. No, it doesn't matter. I don't care when my birthday is. You can set reminders on the calendar, which may include the time of information on the event. So this is set in a beautiful bucolic villagey type thing, um overshadowed by various kind of post apocalyptic towers and things like that. But that comes that comes very slowly into the game, I seem to remember, and as of course from reading various reviews of this. Uh, it's it's, a, it's very gentle and the people in the village don't really seem to care that much about the whole sort of the fact that the world has ended. Or sort of. But hey, what the hell. I think it's I think um yeah the other the other thing is like um you just spend the the first kind of couple of weeks in game slowly working your way through various quests um like that you have to do. Almost a very tutorial Sort of very tutorial type based. Um, I've turned the voice off, by the way. There is a voice doing other voiceovers, but it tends to be a bit of a pisser when you're doing Let's Play stash. <laughs> oh, look at his face! So all this stuff was in last time we played it, which was about a year ago. We also streamed it. So there's a good two hours of two hours of this game in its previous incarnation, which is pretty much the same. Um, only that now I think now it's got more content, is more balanced or whatever. Saves have carried over, remarkably. Oh god, not him. The Saint! Presley, how do you do? Good to see you again! Quite literally. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnabas, right? That's quite far. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would follow me, it's pretty close. Um, so I'm going to skip a lot of the dialogue for the tutorial type things. Just. Oh god, that's actually a really important plot. <laughs> uh, well, apparently my father's buggered off and uh, left me his ramshackled old shed to do some farming in. I'm getting ahead of him. He didn't like that. He sent the world black. Oh, here we go. And here we are at your workshop. What did I call this last time? I called it something stupid. The s Sinner's Shack or the Saint's Shack or something like that. Well, it looks homely, apparently. It's a tip. Now that is a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen his ass. I've reverted to Northern now. The Saint! When you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. Sorry! I'm sorry I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was also sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from rain. Uh, and so on. Right, so now we've got to go... Tomorrow we have to go to the, the Commerce Guild. Yes, 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 yes. Setting all this stuff up. This is, I think, is going to be fairly similar to what it has been for a while. Although now we've got achievements. Achievement unlocked. Newcomer. Why is his moustache not green? Absolutely outraged. Also, I wonder if I could I could have changed my t-shirt. Hmm. Literally nobody knows. It's unknowable. Can't, there's no point in fixing... I seem to remember no point in fixing those gaps anytime soon. And there's going to be a lot of gathering. A lot of wood and stone gathering. God, there's a lot of information there. It's all scrolled off, all off, the, off the top already. Oh, some trove. Oh. Thanks. Now, do I actually need to equip those? 
Oh, that's it. You just literally just select them. Right. Good. Right, let's get the letter. Let's see what Mayor Lewis wants us to know. This is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by City Government and the local Commerce Guild branch to bring you the latest news. Bye. That's enough of that. Don't think we really need to know that for the time being. So there's going to be a lot of this stuff to gather, but I should probably... Oh, bloody. I should probably be heading towards the Commerce Guild and learning all about excitement and things. However, since this is en route, may as well do the, do the old grabberoo. So I think it's a game where you can only really do like one or two things every day. It doesn't really allow for you to do vast amounts of things. Oh, I missed some stone. In fact, there's loads of stone. This will all be very useful. Right, let's go quest. Let's meet Presley. Mate. To the Commerce Guild! Hello, Higgins. The Saint! Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Great. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. With the organisation that always has trade across the entire city's region. This is the Borgia Branch. Sorry. <laughs> and we're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, uh, let me give you the builder's test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. Axe and pickaxe. You'll need to have wooden stone. Surprise, surprise. Gather them on your own or buy them from the total tools in Central Square. So we need a work table and all. Right, so back out we go. Piss off! Right, he jostled me. I'm going to kill him. I'm actually going to kill him. How dare you! How dare you! You prick! Ha! I'm basically the Yellow Ranger. Oh dear, I'm dead. The end. I'm not going to do that again. Anyway, <laughs> get out of the way. Otherwise I'll um, lose to you again. Yeah, that's the thing that happens in this game. <laughs> it just is. And apparently there's also, I think I'm available from last time, but there is a division in the town as well between the church who don't want to use old technologies, and the research lads who do. Oh, in fact, she's talking about it here. We oppose... Uh, uh, well, she was for a while. Sister of the Church of Light. Hi there, are you new here? I'm Nora. Flipping Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of Light. Um, rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. People want the guidance of the church when it comes to technologies from the corrupted world. After all, these technologies are what led to the destruction of human society. We need to be extra careful about what we dig up now. Guy on the right's a vegan. We have a gift. Actually, no, don't. Yeah, yeah, whatever. There's a chest up there, isn't there? Never did actually work, work out how to actually get it. Hub! <laughs> yeah, never mind. So I need more wooden stone, really. Um, I don't actually know how much because I didn't actually bother to look. But let's have a bit of a look around. I think at the moment it's... Because I haven't got an axe or anything. It's just going to be a case of grabbing floor stone. And floor wood. None of your old chopperoo or pickaxeroo. Look. Old things. Overshadowing everything. Right, I'll pile of junk that. Also ends. And ducks. You look new. Don't remember all these ducks before. I've got a duck. Uh, not for long, though. They really got pissy. I'm gonna right, I'm off, lads. Bye! I think I've really knocked them off. <laughs> oh, they've stopped giving a shit. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> oh, you duck! Get in. There we go. Anyway, let's get back to our <laughs> important duties down on the farm. As we went through all over again. Actually, we did actually have battle music there, didn't we? Anyway, let's have a look at what's going on here. I always feel bad because I never really got beyond that far in this game. I've done several videos on it all at the start of it. Never really got hugely far in. in. The old loader I think. Well, oh, hello. <laughs> Just a bit of whistling noise at me. So, here's some hot tutorial action. 
Uh, go up to the assembly station, open up this handbook, and select a diagram. Once the framework of the item appears, I can start placing the different parts. There's more. Right, so I need to build nothing of this at the moment, I don't think. I need a work table, which I think is here. Here we go. I'll need a simple axe. In fact, yeah, I've got, I have got enough. And I also need a pickaxe as well. Which probably does... Oh, I need a tiny bit more wood. A wee bit more wood. Which I can see right over there. Clong. Actually, there's a bit more here. Oh, hello, what are you? Insufficient items. Capture menu. Ooh, that's new. I haven't seen that before. Looks like some sort of capture pod ship. Starboundish. Well, not Pokemon. Or Pokemon. As I insist on calling it. Despite evidence to the contrary, probably. I want all the herbs. All of them. I've got the old catty pillar. Right, let's get on with the pickaxe. Boop, boop, boop. And we've done the building. Oh, God, look at his stupid face. That, mis that moustache kills it, doesn't it? Hello. Hello, Emily. Sunny Farmer Girl. Sunny Farmer Girl. Um, hey there, I'm Emily, your next door neighbour. Ooh. Um, it's so nice to have new people move into our town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. Have some dressing. Let's not go with the rock, paper, scissors. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Right, piss. That's good, though, because she, apparently she liked that. She liked him beating me senseless. To be honest, if I saw that moustache coming towards me, I'd want to beat it senseless as well. I think we need to go back to the, um, the mate. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay, this aircraft model was made in the Walnut Grove. I think I actually um, didn't actually interact properly there, did I? Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. For the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. Use the assembly station, which we've already had a look at. Right, fine. There's a jobs board. But we'll come back to that. Ooh, what's all this? Have you looked at this before? Workshop rank? Higgins Workshop. Oh god, he's, he's level B. Neighbour Wangs? Builder Wang. D. Yes. I'm sure that'll be explained to me at some point. Ha! <laughs> right. Okay, so let's furnace. Auto run middle. Ooh. Thanks, game. What's the difference, then? Didn't seem to make any difference at all. <laughs> right, so here we go. So we need... What was it? It was a stone furnace. Just a bit of hot tutorial action, that's fine. So we need to get ten wood and one stone stool. Wood-wise, we've only got seven, so once again we'll have to go and um, rummage up some... Something from over probably here. You'd think there's going to be some wood around here. I mean, I could use the axe. I mean, I mean. Oh, uh, oh yeah, you can only do the small trees. Okay. That's more like. Here, hold the left mouse button to cut and dig. Yes. Oh, wood for days. Well, since we're in a chopping mood, since we're defiling nature and all she stands for. I think we should get a bit more. Also got a skill point, which I should probably do something with. I need to reassign the button. At the moment I've got to get press I to get into this, which I don't like. I should be pressing tab. I don't think, don't think tab does anything. Right, let's get the gathering. Axe mastery, I think. 
and five skill points to each level to unlock the next one. Fair enough. Right, can I get this one? So I need to make a stone stool as well, which I think will just require... First of all, to get some stone. My, oh god, my, 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 my hotbar's all over the place at the moment. I really do need to fiddle around with that. Well, am I hungry at the moment? Is there hunger in this game? I can't remember. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about that. Really? That's the smallest stone in the world. The walls don't give a shit. No, I'm not getting anything. Well, where's a small stone then? That's some just some regular bits of stone here. So let's get this. I put this into my pot or my pockets. Is there sometimes now? That looks like a bit of things I can whack. Oh, just a bit of wall fall. Um, can I get that? Oh, I just had to hit it a bit more. Oh, I got copper out of that. I just realised I actually hit, just had to hit it a bit more than I was doing, I think. What are you? Oh, we got some marble. I can't do any more than that, can I? Let's see how you can make a stone stall. Oh, well. I think we first of all, we'll have to make the stall here, I think. Stone stall. Just the one. Right, so let's... Oh god, my inventory. I have to move things around a bit. Put you there. And place. So now we need ten woods, which we do definitely have. Oh yeah, we've got to... Hmm. And we have the little trumpet sort of thing that tells us how great we are. Now what do I do with it? I think I just bug it down. However, I think Matey Boy... I can't remember, but Matey Boy may have to take a look at this. Or he might just, he might just want to know. On the other hand, though, it is getting dark. We're about to get um, erased by a horse. Help. Help! Help! It's got titties! Where are they? Oh, there are bells. Oh, you're a lovely fellow, aren't you? Sadly, I can't talk to it. Otherwise, I'd say, Hello, do you want to talk to me? And the horse would say, Nay! <laughs> yeah. There. Jokes from 50 years ago. This will be good because we can get our game saved. Day three in the Big Brother house. The show has been cancelled. And they don't realise there's no cameras on them. This house is so worn. I need to fix it or I won't get a good night's sleep. Oh, you don't get your energy back as much, do you? That's right. The SP. Let's see. How much we need? 20 wood. I've actually got enough. Let's go for this one, because that one's, that one's the most annoying, because it's right. Oh, that only requires three wood. And you. Oh, yeah, that's, mm. let's go for the small ones. Oh, that, oh that's not a small one, it's a big one. Anyway, that should keep us um, getting some better sleep. What are you? Something that I can't do just yet, by the looks of it. Help for options. Yeah, interesting. That looks like something for another time, though. So what's the betting in this video? I end up finishing it just as we get to that bit where we have to build a bridge, because that happens every time I play this game. Anyway, the mail is here. You got mail. Hello, Builder. We'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorised ruins. Um, abandoned Ruin 1 and Abandoned Ruin 2, presumably. Right, fine. No more resources. No. Yeah. Disappointing. So let's go and talk to um, Matey Pie at the, the the build of the Guild of Trickery, whatever it's called, commerce thing. 
Thankfully, some more stone and some wood has appeared in the night. Probably a windy night. Or maybe Santa Claus left it. Hey! There's Sonia. Well, there's a... Ooh, hello. There's a shiny old phone. Yeah, you! Wait! Don't hang up! I'm one of the makers for this world! I was the one that made the grass grow! What? I'm talking to the devs here. How are you? Enjoy your time in Porsche. Oh, I actually really am, yeah. <laughs> they want feedback. Somewhere in abandoned ruins, there is a secret room. Thanks, devs. Most kind of you. I've already forgotten what he said. Oh, 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 oh there's a pig, I think. Oh, it's a kitty. Pink, a pink kitty. Oh, there's Django Reinhardt. Purr. Let's give you a gift. Let's give you the gift of worm. <laughs> Holy shit, he didn't like that. I'm not surprised. Let's go up here. I think I'm going to the Forbidden Isle here. Oh, just a nice balcony, admittedly. Actually, people are having a bit of a picnic down there. No fall damage. An old hermit loves the game of cross. It's like chess, but angrier. You're the new builder, I suppose. I hope you're wiser and more reasonable than that other builder in town. I think he's a... No. Ah. It's Jim Leahy. Cross five. Oh, dicks. That seems hard. Right, so you place things. All right. Hmm. He's being a prick. He's going to probably... I'm being tr strategic here. Oh, look, he's, he's getting... I feel like he's gaining control now. Don't like this. I mean, I'm having to play defensively, which I do not approve of. Um. Aha! Aha! I'm, I'm, I'm playing more aggressively now. Unfortunately, now I've got no... Hang on, let's do this. Oh, he's going to do a thing. Oh, he's going to do another thing. Oh, well, I don't know. Um, 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 um. I've got no, I've got no prospects at all. Oh, he's, oh, he's going down there now. What a monster prick. Um. Yeah, I knew he'd do that. What a, what an arsehole. Oh, what a double arsehole. I need to make sure that I, um, I always have several things going on. Oh, he keeps on, keeps on seeing through my incredibly cunning ruse. Oh, you ruse seer through her. Oh, what's he doing? I like this. What? Oh, dicks. <laughs> yes. An old man beat me. A woman beat me at rock, paper, scissors. And that cat just hates me. <sighs> right, okay. I'm going to... Stick my tail between my legs and slink back to the Porsche Commerce Guild. It's a man's life in the Porsche Commons Guild. Or whatever the hell it's called. Oh, it's Antoine. I remember you. I'm sure you dress differently every time I see you. So do I actually need to, um... Actually need to do any of this? There's a little arrow thing there. I'm going to talk to him. Beautiful flower. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> For some reason it's Cornish. I know who you are. I'm Antoine. We'll probably be seeing each other a lot. T.E. Oh, there you are. Never mind, Antoine. I'm afraid we've got to, le got to leave you to it. I'll come back for a kiss later. Fortunately, I've got to talk to Elvis. Great job. You pass. This is your builder's license. Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office. Admin the game. Okay, let's go and talk to the mayor. Meh. It would be good if the horse was the mayor. Ah, oh, low. Hmm, he looks a bit aloof. He also looks like a scruffy herbert. Right, so where's the meh? I'm going towards something. Something that's on the map. Booze! Found the booze! We buy the booze. That's some baby booze. Oh, it's baby milk powder, apparently. Maybe we got juice, cheap soda, rainbow lemonade. Yeah, I don't see much in the way of booze. 
Can't sell anything. Not really much. Oh, I could sell. I could try selling some snake berries. Although it also restores health, that so I might want to keep hold of it. No, there's no booze. I don't care. I'm off. Although I should, I'm supposed to be talking to people, aren't I? I think. Was that actually a quest? Or was that just every other game like this? Where you have to talk to everyone? I'll talk to Lee. Who's the vegan? You must be the new bear. The <laughs> no. Oh, he's the, he's, he's the head churchy guy. I bet I can beat him. Oh, that's killed. We've got a stamina. Punch. Oh, you... God damn it. I'm going to punch him again. Oh! I'm going to punch him again. Ah, a draw. Yes! He tried to psych me. I'm going for rock again. See if he eventually sees through my strategy of just going rock every time. Oh, will I? Yes, he tried to... Yep, right, I'm going back to rock now. Oh. You will notice that we can't actually see what I'm doing because of the bloody thing. <laughs> oh, we've lost. Well... I fared better against him, anyway. So, I've, is Sonya the other... Oh, you're the waitress. Yeah, you're, you're new. Go have a chat. I check the travel agency sales each season. Even if I can't go, it's nice to fantasise. Nice. Well, I met him. Her. Now I need to find the mayor. Which, oh, yeah, I've got to follow the... Um, the it's the yellow thing, isn't it, on the map? Let's walk through the pond. It's probably full of cat's piss. I know where that cat's been. Something just went dong. Anyway, this is a cafe, which I don't think is actually open yet in the game. There's the mine, which I'll have to go down. Actually, where is the bloody mayor? I think, I think the mayor is here. But I've been cutscened out of things. Oh, it's you. It's the Umpa Lumpa. First time ruin diving. Uh, let me explain. All the ruins are blah blah blah. You've to okay. You need to pay a pay a weekly maintenance fee. But okay, fine. Yes. Uh, da, 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 yes, 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 yes. I don't actually want to go in yet, to be honest. I want to see the mayor, who seems to be somewhere else on the map. The farmer. Ah, oh, there we go. So I need to. I actually need to go there. So I've got a little blue marker there now. Now! I know what's going on. Let's actually take a little bit of a tour. Just around this way instead. Just so we see some new things. For some reason that minimap is confusing me. I keep on expecting it to spin round. Also, I'm, I'm completely st stuck on the, the verge here. Anyway, let's have a bit of a sprint. Let's get, let's get our lad fit. It's going to turn out to be right next to the Commerce Guild. Oh no, here's, here it is. Here's the mayor's house. Oh my god, what are they doing? Oh, they're sitting down to tea. Hello, I'm going to intrude on you. For some paperwork business. Well, he's, he's taken it very well so far, anyway. It's truly young people to see... It's tru truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the... Telesis? Of our society. I'm here to register my workshop, I said. Very well, what is the name of your workshop? Oh, I don't know. Um, Spungbunkle. Is the new name of my workshop. I panicked, okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. They'll be announced through the mail. Try to make it if you can. Achievement unlocked. I'm a builder! Do I really want to talk to any of these lads? Oh, look at us, though. Kind of like Gust, though. Is that, the, is that the, like a daughter? Because Gale, windy old Gale, is named... Um, oh, it's a son. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're a new builder. I'm Gust. I'd love to stop ch and chat. Tea, cake and all. But I'm busy, so good day. He's basically a stereotype English guy, I guess. Um, I was going to do the accent, but... How do you do an English accent? I mean, nobody knows that. I could punch him. Look at his hair, though. It goes all the way down to his bum. It's basically, it's basically Fabio. Fabio. I'm going to see what's in there over there, in this room here. 
Oh, they've got a nice house, haven't they? Oh. I need to become a buddy of Gust. That's a very polite way of putting it, isn't it? <laughs> they become fa um, Gust's fuck buddy. <laughs> anyway, they've all they've all left with me. Probably to chase me off after making design designs on everyone. Anyway, where are we going now? I think I can demark that thing now. There we go. Show Presley registration. I've got to go back again, haven't I? I feel like there's an extra layer of paperwork here, which is not necessary. <laughs> so where am I actually going here? Oh, I'm actually right at the back of the... Hang on, let's... Take a, we a weird shock. Oh dear, where am I? <laughs> oh no. Luckily, I found some trove. Oh, a painting! I can bung that on my house. Do the old house bang. AG construction. Hmm. Oh, yes, here we go. Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> Gust beat me to it! I can be fanning around. Can't help but notice he, he wanted to see me again. I think I'm in there. Oh, he's really happy. Oh, look at his moustache. Looks like it's got broken. It's like a bit of wood that got broke. Let me explain some of the processes of our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board. Over there. Based on the speed and quantity of the results, we make a ranking every week. Ah, okay, so that's the um, ranking thing over there, top right. Uh, there are other workshops in Porsche. Oh, yes. Adding yours. I've changed my voice. There will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Ratings, quality, work ethic. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine. Oh, Antoine. Anyway. I think this is normally, yes, normally voice though, isn't it? All that. Oh, no, it's the it's the brick. Oh, yeah, here he is. Again, Jordy took one today. There are never too many commissions. Good day! Ha 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 ha! He's, he's a bit of a prick to start with, but I think he's fine. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he runs things. Well, I'm sorry, that was our last one today. Piss off! Oh no, it's him. It's Scruffy Lad. Da 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 da. Don't tell me, don't ask me to build a bridge. No oh, piss. <laughs> yeah. Well, young, young the saint here um, is up for the challenge. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. It's Russell Tovey. The saint. Um, check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If he's there, use it at the assembly station. Um, abandoned ruins. Uh, located at the top of the work. Yes, we've already seen that. He's off. Off to do something scruffy, no doubt. Probably involving flying a plane. I get a feeling he's a plane flyer. He's an engine haver. So, really what we need to do is go around and find out just how many millions of bits of stone we need for this. Ugh, I remember this quest is a piss. A, a piss, a, a pain in the arse in terms of requiring every material in the world. And yeah, we do need to go into the mines to actually get, get anything sorted. We need to go... Here we go. Yeah, there's a whole sort of chain of things. I like need to get copper ore and tin ore. Then just put that in the furnace to turn it into green. Uh, and then use a civil cutter to turn the green into flat green. Uh, and then the green goes into the, w the bridge body. Meanwhile, you also need 96 stones. Furnace ate that into stone bricks. And then bung that in as well. So it's a whole thing. And then over on the bridge head. Which I think you need more than one of some of these things. I can't remember which. Uh, this requires hardwood. Turn into hardwood planks. I think you need a better axe to get the hardwood. Or something like that. And we also need copper ore over here. And also, yeah, stuff. So really what you need to do now is go and find the copper and the tin ore. Yeah, you, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Actually, I probably am. I should really put this furnace down, shouldn't I? Let's put it in amazing scenes. I'm going to put it there for once. I think last time I put it there. A placed item can be retrieved by swinging an axe at it. Or just by pressing F. I'm not sure I'd want to axe it. I'm going to try and... I'm going to try. I'm going to try and put that picture on the wall, but let's not do that just yet. 
Can we actually furnace it? Let's try and furnace it now. And we can make stone bricks. We haven't got... A, looks like we haven't got enough copper for that yet. We got one copper from that bit of stone and we need three. We also could do with getting some storage, which I seem to remember you can do. Uh, I need literally two more bits of wood for that. But it's a good thing worth doing. Chop. And we've got plenty of stuff. We've also got some plant fibre. Right, so a little bit of storage action. Da -da -da. One. I think the furnace can... The, uh, the storage can definitely go there. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Also, we can rename it. There. Kevin the box. Makes sense. Oh, there's some wood just hanging out just here. Oh, someone's got a quest. Let's hope it's not a fetch quest. Hey, neighbour! Do you have a minute? I've been meaning to talk to you. Oh, look, it's him. It's the pilot on a horse. Oh, it's the Oompa Lumper. That's the Oompa Lumper, isn't it? The pilot's the other guy. I just got a new craft recipe all the way from Highwind. It's a box that can be used to cultivate crops. Uh, people in Highwind have been using it for a while now, and supposedly it's great. Can you build it and test it out for me? A box that can be used to cultivate crops. Hmm. Oh, so we've got farming already. Don't... I don't think I actually got into farming last time I played this. Let's see what I've actually got in my thing over here. There's a fertilizer, there's a wheat seed. Oh, tree sap. Oh, there's a small planter box. Right. It looks like a book. Oh, I see. <laughs> it is a book. <laughs> yeah. I do have to, like, I can't have to do it there. I must have to do it here. Small planter box requires. It actually requires poo, um, wooden boards, soil, and poo. But well, that's something that can be done. But for the meantime, we don't need those seeds, so we can be putting that into here. The fertilizer can go in there, which I think is a different kind of poo entirely. Plant fiber, tree sap can go in there as well. I'm going to keep my inventory fairly light. I should use the boxing gloves when I punched that guy earlier. Ha, huh, oh well. Anyway, that's enough for today. I'm back into Spung Bunkle. <laughs> Shout out to Gavin Free. And we need to put this on the wall somehow. Oh, we can. Let's put it above my bed so I can always... Hang on, let's... Oh, it's a building license. That's not what I meant. Cancel. What's my picture then? Oh, it's there. I think I did that by mistake, but that's actually quite a good thing. Anyway, let's put the painting up. Somewhere. I want it to be nice. It's the world's tiniest painting. Oh, look how tiny it is. <laughs> it's wee! Oh. Anyway, time for a kip, I think. So we'll stop here. I think we've had a really good look at the first, well, we'll be about 40 minutes there. Um, and we may, we may continue playing this if there is demand, because it is a fun, chilled game, and there's lots and lots to see. Even if it does seem a bit slow, um, there's still, so far it has felt like it's been packed with incident and stuff to do and stuff to discover and all that sort of stuff. So cool. So thanks for watching. Uh, do subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when new stuff goes live. Uh, leave a comment if you want me to continue um, making videos on this. Uh, may even stream it at some point again. It should be fun. Um, and check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel and keep us, on, keep us all going from just $1 a month. Support our mission to bring you all the latest and best new indie games around. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Spunk Bunkle.